Tetris for the Game Boy. I... And I think that's good enough volume. So this was probably considered, what, one of the better Tetris games, or at least better Game Boy games on the entire handheld. I guess we can try different modes. Let's try A-Type first. Oh yeah, that tune takes me back. I don't think I've ever played the Game Boy Tetris. Just the NES one, which was the, uh, the unlicensed Tengen one. Like, it showed up as a rental, and it's like, oh yeah, this is good. And then when I played it again, on NES, I was like, this doesn't look exactly how I remembered. Because apparently there were two versions of Tetris. On the NES alone. Okay, we're doing well, getting some lines all sorted out. I'll put this over here. It didn't really have all the bells and whistles that later Tetris games had, such as like storing blocks or dropping them instantly. That came up in like later versions. Actually, I think I want to put it here. It becomes a comfort game until you never get the block you want. Yeah, it's already gonna look real messed up here. Two consecutive Tetrises. Let's go. It just made a random, like, sheep noise. Tetris movie and you can still have hallucinations. They're not mutually exclusive. Uh, I don't really like what I got done here. Yeah, let me catch up the chat. Well, I was watching an old playlist of a Mario today and a rather funny moment happened in commentary. You said, I'm going to stay as high as possible, not that high, then you immediately coughed. Sometimes... The jokes just write themselves. Hey there, rocker. That's why I'm glad I keep my commentary unscripted. Is it good? You mean the Romac? I'm pretty sure it was good. If it was bad, I wouldn't have played it. Actually, that's not always the case. I have played some bad ones before. Did you do you remember what one it was, Rocker? For other people that might want to watch it themselves? Don't just say, like, oh, it's the one where Bonga coughs, because that doesn't narrow it down 
at all. Oh, Mario and Bowser and Mighty Number no. 9. Oh, yeah, I know that Roberto Zampari. Like, God bless his soul, he, he does do some decent hacks. The issue is, he always just. He usually pesters me to play his hacks. He's like, please play my hack, and all that stuff. And, like, they're okay. The problem is, like, some. You know, pop culture references usually get shoehorned right in, especially with like the ponies. It just feels so weird. Tangent version is kind of cast officially as an Atari release that version from Nintendo's back in illegally. Do I think it's still an official game? I'm not in charge of that, so it doesn't matter. I don't really care if it's official or not, as long as it plays good. I said because people said that Tangan version is better than Nintendo Tetris. I mean, Tangan is like a a respectable company that makes decent games. Some of the time. Keep in mind they were also involved in Awesome Possum, which is not an awesome game. It's just a possum game, and that's it. And despite what uh, any white girl would say, that possum was not awesome. Not all possums are created equal. Stop giving me those, uh, curly ones. God darn it! Why won't you die? That's what the Tetris guys are saying. Hey, uh, God, why? That was your fault. Should I put that version of Tetris in your recommendations? Don't ask me. You're the one that's suggesting the game, so, uh... If you want to do it, do it. Remember, this is the series where I pretty much give the viewers the power. Hmm. You know what? That's good enough. Aladdin. Unlicensed games, most of the time, are fine. Bootlegs, however, are not.
Hey there, Moogle. Oh, I, I could have put it there. I had a better spot for that, now it's too late. Anyway, how are you? I might have played Alleyway once, but it was a long time ago. Alright, so far so good. Had some near scares, but we recovered. Wedding on the Tetra stream is one of the songs? That's not pretty awesome. You just get everybody on the dance floor at once, and then if they get too close, if all the teenagers start bumping and grinding, they might actually disappear. Happens every time. Am I at level 9 already? What the frick? I started at level 0! I think I biffed it. I think I biffed it! I biffed it, chat! No! Wait, he might come back from this. Hundred lines! At least I got the hundred lines! What? Oh! I was too flush. That's why I couldn't turn it. I got to hundred lines, but at what cost? run, but all good things come to an end, eventually. Uh. Ah. Ah. Wow, that's a lot of threes on my score! <laughs> 33,303 points. 108 lines, level 10. Honestly, that wasn't even bad. Please try again. Wonderful! Oh, if you press start, it just continues the next layer, so I got Pua. Alright, let's try B-Type for a bit. Uh, I think C-Type music is pretty good.
Okay, that tells you, like, how many lines you gotta get. Hawk Pua, shit on that thing! Oh my god, it, it's actually clever when you think about it. I cannot believe how well that actually works. Hawk Pua, shit on that thing. Honestly, it's kind of frightening how well that works. I'm sorry, Haley Welcher, but you're gonna have to go viral another way. I have taken your thunder. Chances are she's not watching this stream. Mostly just like trying to tell people online she does not have an OnlyFans, which I can believe that. She seems like a grounded person, honestly. Give me these pieces, I don't want them. Could have used that sooner, but all right, you do you, game. the level does not change. Uh, more lines to go. Nearly at the finish line, chat. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the Gods. We're almost done. The Gods must wait. Oh, okay, there we go. I win. Wait, is this like total draws? Like, how many blocks fell? No, that must be like in total squares. How many characters can you fit on the high score? Okay, it looks like it's gonna be six. Oh, I wanted to get Hakpua on there. Our Hawk Poo is gonna have to do. I'm sorry. This is the best that I could poo or do. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for Tetris. I mean, all it is just A type and B type. Adjust your levels, have a bit of fun with it. See if you can beat your best score. I mean, it's Tetris in its simplicity. And. For like a game in 1989, Genstar, that was all you needed. So uh, thank you Cole for nominating this game, but I think it's time to move on.